Hello, this is a quick review video on my new Finnish army backpack made by Savotta. Now this is the identical version that the Finnish military is using currently. The capacity is 40, Euro, 40 liters, uh, but this has a quite good molar loop on the both sides and a quite generous lid on the top, so you can easily transfer more than that 40 liters around. Now, this is a military product, so it is quite lacking in some of the features, especially what comes to the comfort of the backpack. But what you will get is a product that is made out of very high quality materials and the workmanship, of course, is quite excellent. Now, the outer material is Cordura. It's basically rubberized from the inside, so it's, it should be quite waterproof and it is infrared protected. And of course, as this is a military backpack, the only, only color available is this nice olive green. So let's take a look at some details. Now the capacity of the backpack is 40 liters, but there's quite a lot of straps, uh, mole loops and plastic hooks around the backpack, so you can easily have more than 40 liters with this thing. Now on the front we have two straps, horizontal and vertical, with plastic buckles on the side. There's mole loop, it's five wide and three tall, so you can easily have a quite big utility pouches on both sides. Okay, these pouches don't come with the backpack, so keep that in mind. In my current setup I have a pouch for my canteen on the other side and the utility pouch for my uh, cooking system on the other side, so I don't have to go digging around in the main compartment if I have a drink or make some food. On top of the hood we have four plastic loops for attaching stuff here. On the bottom there's tunnels, four tunnels for straps also, you, so you can easily have your, let's say, your bedroll on the bottom. And there's also two training holes, so even the material itself is watertight. These little holes will make sure that the backpack itself is not 100% watertight, so if you leave this in a puddle, at least the lower part might be flooded. Um, on the back there's two go-throughs for let's say your hydration pack or antenna or let's say if you have a headset and they are also on the inside here so no worry. So we have two tightenings on the top which is nice. Uh, in the inside there is a compartment for the back plate, there is a back plate, but of course it's not anatomically designed, so this is a basically a military backpack, but it does the trick. So of course you can pull that out and have the inside compartment for let's say your hydration pack if you have any um, on the back. There is a handle made out of a uh, olive green strap. There's a see-through window for your name tag. And then we have the harness and a waist belt. Now the waist belt of course is, as you can see, it's quite basic. It's basically five centimeters wide strap with a plastic buckle of wood. It does the trick and it's quite light, so it's a military design. Um, the shoulder harness isn't really padded at all, as you can see it's quite thin, but it's something like 6 cm wide, so it distributes the weight quite evenly on your shoulders, which is nice. And then we have this little chest strap, of course, which is nice. And then here we have some mole, so let's say if you would have a knife or maybe some little utility pouch, maybe a tourniquet pouch, you can have them here. And extra feature is that these buckles here are made of metal, so they don't accidentally break. And I'll probably replace these plastic buckles here with the metal ones, just to be sure. 
Um, if I have to summarize uh, this backpack, it's quite basic and simple, but it is surprisingly comfortable to carry. A little bit expensive, but it's made in Finland, so it's really high quality and the materials are good. And that's about it.